What's going on everybody? It's Alexis Marchand here from The Four Pillar Journey. Welcome back to the channel. Now today, if you clicked on this video, then you can relate to the feeling of being super shy, super insecure, self-doubt when it comes to meeting and talking to people, but it's specifically new people, trying to make new friends, new relationships. And I'm gonna tell you right now that this will hinder you dramatically in the future, the older you get. Because if you don't have any good, strong friendships and relationships in your life, you will be a lonely man. And that is not a good thing. That is where the negativity and all these negative thoughts start brewing in your head with self-doubt and self-hate. And that's the last thing you want. Now you might be wondering, why? Why am I so shy? Why am I like this? Well, I'm here to give you some insights. I myself as a younger man was quite shy. I mean, you could ask anyone that, know, that knew me or knows me when I was young, I was that guy, you know, I was kind of shy. I was more reserved. I really didn't want to talk or meet new people. But the older I got, it's like life just threw me out there and it's either you swim or you drown. And a lot of you guys are drowning right now. And again, not having any friends or relationships can hinder you and you will have so many opportunities that will close and you not even know it simply due to not knowing the right people or knowing anyone at all. And the first thing that I want to talk to you about is understanding who are you? What kind of person are you? Because people can sense the self insecurity of someone that is reserved and shy. They can sense that maybe, <laughs> it sounds fucked up, but that something's not completely right with you. Like you got a loose screw maybe. Like, you know, so they try to avoid it, but it really comes down to you not feeling confident in yourself in who you are. You feel ashamed, really. That's what it comes down to. You're so, <laughs> you're, so, you're so ashamed of yourself that you don't feel like you're worthy of putting yourself out there in front of people. But you have to ask yourself, why is that? Why do I feel that self-shame within myself? And that's because you're not putting in the work that you know you should. It sounds simple enough, but a lot of people don't peel back those deep layers because the truth hurts. But I'm here to tell you, if you don't know already, then I'm here to tell you the truth. You're probably out of shape. You're probably working a shitty job that you hate. You probably don't take care of yourself hygienically enough, whether that be a simple haircut or wearing nice clothes that fit well whether that's you not even fucking brushing your teeth, whatever the case may be, there is something or multiple things that are eating you alive from the inside that externalize and people can sense that or they can physically see it. Because let's be frank, and I don't wanna be an asshole about this, but I've said this before, if you take two people at a job interview, one of them overweight, with their clothes all wrinkly and they kind of smell and then excuse me and then you take another man who seems to be in shape wears not even expensive clothes but clothes that fit them well and is well groomed who do you think is going to have more opportunities in life it sounds simple and it sounds bad but it, it's not it's simply the truth it's how the world works and if you try to you know, like, lay in this, not even reality, but this world that people owe you something, then you're not going to get anywhere in life. People don't owe you anything. You can only rely on yourself to bring yourself up from whatever situation you're in, which is why I made this whole channel to begin with, the four pillar journey. Have your physical health in check and stay fit be strong physically, have a strong mind, grow 
try to learn something new every day that from to talking about friendships and building new friendships and relationships the more you know the more you will be able to talk people uh, on stuff about you will be able to relate about x y and z especially if you're trying to make money or fitness whatever the case may be you are relatable and it opens up that door of introduction to meeting you relationships i mean this is what we're talking about here how to build strong relationships and the importance of them <sighs> if you don't know anyone in life there's a saying right it's not what you know but it's who you know and that's very true to an extent you could be the most qualified guy for a job but you don't know anyone and then you got you know john doe over here who doesn't know jack shit but he knows somebody in that company. Who do you think is more likely to get the job? Unless that guy <laughs> is like the worst human being on earth. It's more than likely that John Doe is going to get that job. Why? Because he knows someone. When someone puts in a word for you, that's trust. You're like, oh, okay, you know him? You think he's going to do all right? All right, bring him in. Let's give him a shot. Simply because he knows someone. Again, the importance of knowing someone. Relationships. And then the last thing on this Four Pillar Journey channel is spiritual. Now, I know that's something that I don't really get into, and that's a whole nother video. But understanding the manifestation of words is a very powerful thing, which relates to what I was talking about earlier. If you are always negative with yourself, you are not going to get anywhere. You will not be able to start growing. So you are the first person that has to not only motivate yourself, but bring yourself up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Words are very powerful. It's been scientifically proven that even with fucking water, they did a study on this. They took two different sets of water particles, and on one set, they talked good things about them. Positive words to the water. You know, you're beautiful. You will make beautiful crystals. Amazing. And on the other set of water, they gave them negative words. They talked bad to them. And guess what happened? When they crystallized both sets of water, the positive words of affirmation group grew into these beautifully symmetrical shapes as to where the negative words of affirmation group grew completely asymmetrical, ugly. And this goes to show, I don't know if this is God. I don't know what the hell is going on here. But if there's truth to it, then why not do that to yourself? Even if it's not true right now, it's going to allow you and motivate you to be like, you know what? I am intelligent. I am a hard worker. I am charismatic. I will do X, Y, and Z because I believe in myself, even if no one else does. And then that way, you start growing and then people will naturally come to you. Because you you seem interesting. Or what do these kids say? The aura. It's there and it's a real thing. People would just come up to me sometimes and be like, you know, you look like this guy. Just to start a conversation. Or they say, you know, hey, what do you do to work out? Or like, oh, they, you know, they see me in the construction clothes. Like, oh, what do you do for a living? And then it opens up opportunities that can benefit both you and that other person to grow. So, to wrap this video up, so I'm not just fucking babbling, you have to start by telling yourself positive things. Follow that up by action, which is the most important factor of this whole video. Improve yourself in every aspect that you can. Get clothes that fit you better. More confidence. Start working out. You get more confidence. Learn new things. Start something productive. Confidence. Stop being scared and start talking to people with small conversations. Confidence. And this will open so many doors to relationships and opportunities that you will not even fathom were available to you when you watch this video. Excuse me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. 
If you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down the <laughs> drop them down below in the comment section. And if you want to get in touch with me for a more personal one-on-one -on, -one on whatever uh, things you may need help with, again, my Instagram is Alexis underscore Merchan32. And again, guys, this has been Alexis Merchan from the Four Pillar Journey. Till the next one. Peace out.